everybody, Jay and Abe Review, and today we're at Camper Max here in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Now, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us that thumbs up. Today, we're going to be looking at a 2024 Crossroads Singer, model number 380FB. Oh, this is a good one. So, let's get started. The length on this one is 42 feet, 2 inches. That is right, 42 feet, 2 inches. Yeah. Dry weight is 10,182, and a hitch weight is 1,492. How mercy is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, we are, we're just gonna call this one more of a park model. I don't think we would suggest actually towing this one for weekend camping. So if you have a permanent spot somewhere, this is one to check out because you're gonna love the inside. Um, because the way it's designed, this is basically all of your outside storage, so you don't have any other outside storage on it. Uh, yeah, dump area, your outside shower. Uh, we'll just go ahead and go down the end here. Let's see if I can... You do have a ladder. Yes. And it is going to have a spare, but, um... See if I can scoot through here. You do have two awnings on this one. Don't know. Uh, not sure of the length. Probably that looks like about a 10 foot one. And, and this one maybe 15, 16, 18? Uh, yeah, pick, pick one of those. We're not sure. But it's going to give you really good coverage out here. And and that's why you call it a right that's why we call this a park this. model um you're going to have your sliding doors here now you see that it does not have solid steps because mostly people are going to have a little deck built for this oh wow but the end? yeah oh oh but this one is awesome and i hope so. we've got enough light because our battery just died <laughs> yeah unfortunately we didn't we didn't bring anything to charge our battery pack, so we're gonna hope that we have enough light to show all this. This is going to be a rear living model. Uh, so right back here at the back, you're gonna have storage across the top, nice big window, and this is gonna be a jackknife sofa. So you can store stuff underneath it. Uh, hey, there's a bar stool. Was it a bar stool? There was a bar stool under there. Hey, well, let's get that out. Oh, well, the other one's already under here. Oh. They do give you these uh, little end tables on both sides with some open storage. You've got a plug-in on both sides. I'll go ahead and show you this front slide here. You are going to have recliners. I like these recliners. In this. Um, of course, they are strapped down right now, but like we said, I think once you get this one parked and set up, I don't think I would move it a whole no. lot. But very nice recliners. I love this. You're going to have this great U-shaped dinette over here. Um, looks like you've got some storage below on that. And of course that can make some additional sleeping if you really need it. You've got some USB plug right there. And I'm just going to have a little seat and we'll show you the entertainment center. Some storage right up above it. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's two drawers under this one. And you do have a sound bar. Yep. And this one already has a smart TV in it. Um, electric fireplace down here. Your heating vents are going to be in the floor. And I just, since we've already pulled out that bar stool, I'll just go ahead and show you the island here. So you actually have room for two bar stools. They give you a plug-in underneath, so if you need to work on this, um, you are going to have a split sink in this one with a high-rise faucet. Back into the kitchen area, storage right up there, right next to your standard microwave, your cooktop with an oven, all this storage down below, nice area down there. Okay. The wow. other side of this <laughs> island. I love, love, love the bar stool idea. I just love that. You do have some storage underneath your sink. Great place for a garbage can. Right 
can move around here so I can show you this pantry area. And to give you a drawer down at the bottom of it, you're going to have a 12 volt compressor fridge in here. And then this is a super nice coffee bar, prep bar, hey, whatever you need to use this space for. You have great um, storage up above. And that's a wide, that's pretty wide counter. That's probably, mm. what, at least 24 inches? Oh, yeah. They give you a plug-in at the end of that. And you have an extra little fridge in here. I guess they would call that a wine fridge. I guess it would be yes. your wine fridge. Uh, you guys would be proud of me. I've given up my Diet Mountain Dew, so it would be a Gatorade fridge for me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's show them the rest of this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah this is this is nice to have. Oh my goodness. They give you a half Let me bath. Get out of the way here. Yeah, right here. And this is a very good size half bath. Um I don't know that we have ever seen a half I've bath. I've never seen one like this. In here, I'm gonna have that. Oh, okay. Storage of fuses are gonna be down there at the bottom. Try not to go very fast here, so kind of get the lid of the. Mm -hmm. lid they of the do land give you here. an exhaust fan in here. All right, let me get out of the way so I can open this up. Yeah, lots of storage in this little half bath. That is. So, good. Yeah, very, very well done. Lots of leg room around that extra um, foot flush toilet there. So, heat wow. Heating vents, vents back here, so. Okay. Wow, this is cool. I've never really, you don't see a lot of travel trailers with. With it, yeah, a, a park model with a half bath. So, okay. that's great for your guests. They don't have to come all the way through. Now this I'm is gonna. gonna that for later. <laughs> we're gonna shove that one later. This has got a king size bed on this slide out here. Got some storage up above it. Uh, you do have a little shelf on both sides, and there is power and USB on both, both sides. sides. So crazy. yeah. So underneath, now you know there was storage um, on the outside, but you see that it's separated, so it doesn't go all the way through. Uh, your heat vents back here are in the floor. Now, you have to... Second oh, AC. Second AC. Yeah. Now you have to get somewhere so I can... Out. Yeah, I'm going to back up so we can see this whole dresser area. This is... This is amazing. Very, area. very nice. So you've got six good-sized drawers. Oh. And then you've got these two openings here in the middle. Open storage right above it. And room for a big TV if you want to mount a TV back here. And I love that they give you these little uh, windows for some extra light in here. Yeah, we needed it today. Yes. I hate that our little battery pack died, but... I'll let you go ahead. And then this. Wow. Okay. This, again, is not something that you always see in a travel trailer. And I'm just going to keep going around and around and around until we get to the shower. Okay, I'm up in here now. Yeah. So now Jeremy's six feet tall. Um, there is a, it's not a fan in there, is there? It's just a vent. Just a vent. So it's a vent, um, but that's, hey, you always need a vent over the shower. Lift us up where <laughs> we belong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they give you this nice little curved shower curtain rack, so you give you some extra elbow room in there. And um, it's not even a very big step up getting into it. Then you got. I love having a window. Lots. This big old window in here too now. Lots and lots of space here Room. in front of your dual sinks with all of this storage across the top. All of this storage at the bottom. So if you guys cannot get all of your bathroom items in here, you're carrying way more stuff than we do. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a part This model. is nice. You've got a nice little cup holder here, toothbrush rack, but you've got all this space back here. So. And also, even for a little bit taller guys, you've still got room mm -hmm. to stand up here in front of it. So <coughs> Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to cough. Oh. Yeah, but as if that wasn't cool enough, it is also prepped for a washer dryer in here. So, you have and extra hanging or washer dryer um, or put some shelves in there. And the toilet's in a good spot. I um, miss 
Yeah, you have. This is a, <laughs> a massive around of room. If you're able to put your feet on the wall in front of you, I would like to meet you because you are extremely tall. <laughs> wow. But they also give you some play commands over here. So you can charge your phone while you're in the bathroom. Okay, I like this. Yeah, this is a really nice layout. So this one is just impressive. And it's 42 feet It long. is 42 feet long. So that's why we would not suggest towing it frequently. All right, everybody. If you like this uh, Crossroads Zinger, the dealership's information be down in our description. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe and follow along with us and give us that thumbs up. Thanks, everybody.